criminal. Stop right there, criminal scum! I could teleport. I could teleport there. I totally could. But why should I teleport when I could? I, I could just. I could have a, a scenic ride. A nice scenic ride. And listen to some more Fontaine facts. In accordance with the Fontaine watercraft transport regulations, it is not recommended that you bring the following dangerous items on board the boat. Oh, don't be nervous. I'm just following established procedure and reading out the regulations. My instincts tell me you don't have any inclinations towards rule breaking, so I'm not. Oh, not really. You. I mean, I could. I just don't feel like it. You see, do you see the vibe? What if somebody peed in the water? That's not... I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna try that out. So there's probably like nematodes and stuff in there. I don't... I don't think... I don't think I wanna do... Do whatever you're saying right now. Nuvolet... I got so many questions about Nuvolet. Welcome to Marcotte Station. If you're hoping to meet the two figureheads of the Opera Epiclas, I don't recommend waiting around here. They use their own private transportation. Doubt this is because they don't wish to associate with the common folk. I suspect they simply don't wish to see their private words and deeds appearing in the steambird blown out of proportion. Well, I'm not going to the opera house. I have different things to do. Thank you for the ride. Time to go. I almost made it. Who put a radish in here? Who put a radish in with the mail? Who did that? So many side quests to do. I'll do them. I'll do them myself. Off camera. By the way, if you're playing, this is another side quest right here. Come up to this and interact with it. That's that's a side quest. Oh, hi, doggy. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. So we gotta go in here? So we are going to the Opera House. I thought we had to go somewhere else. Or it could be that, um... Somebody's waiting at the Opera House? Maybe? Behind the Opera House? That must be the case. It looks like it's somewhere else. Okay, look, but first, look, I, I, have, I have things to do. Oh my god. I don't, I'm not even, I don't, I'm not even, I don't even have enough. I don't even have enough. I only got so many to go. So yeah, as you can see, I've, I've been, I've been busy. But not as busy as I usually am. Typically, I'd be much further along, but, I don't know, for a while I was trying to, I was like, should I explore like on camera and then I decided not to because it's it's so much and uh, something tells me that my viewers aren't really looking forward uh, to videos like that anyway if you would like to see me like do just like explore like the vast countryside then I very I very well could uh, do some of that you know a couple videos here and there But for now, I think doing some, you know, just, just some quests and stuff, solving some mysteries, would be pretty sick. Oh my god, I've never been back here. This looks awesome. Holy crap. This is sick. Okay, it was kind of scary though. I was like, what's down here? And it's just, it's just water. I thought it was like, is, is it an endless abyss? 
It was, it was a bit. It was a bit scary for a second. It was a bit scary. Beautiful. Fantastic. Who is the? Oh, that's the roulette. Okay. Hello, sir. Just it promised. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Eric. Where, uh, where, where, Careful. where is it? Oh, it's it. want to step back a bit. Oh, it opens so you can oh go down God. from here? Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and Why would you criminals. torture people like that? But do not worry. It is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. I guess so. I'm on the hopes you're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gives Paimon the heebie-jeebies. Oh, and there's one more thing. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Ridesley. He's a very shrewd fellow. Yeah, we heard about him too. He's that Duke, right? Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. The Duke rarely ever leaves the Fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware. So please bear that in mind. But Charlotte wants us to talk to him. So mm, it's it's this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. The Duke Rives Reevesley. I'll keep that in mind. Alright. That's about Reefsley. all the time that we have to talk privately. Wesley. I'm counting on you two. That's his name. Don't worry, we won't let you down. Good. <clears throat> Madeline. I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. There's no R. Convicts, Please. I presume. Why does everybody Don't say ner Nervalet? Escape on my watch. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> like we would try. Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the fortress of Meripede. Miss Monsieur Nervalet. Okay, so this is new. So basically, when you were, they they didn't do this with me with the other quests. Because I was on another quest, and they were just like, you can't finish this last bit of this quest until you do an entire whole uh, side quest thing. So it was just, it was crazy. But this, however, this is pretty cool. No, this is fine. I, what I do is I'll start, like, I'll kind of enter an area, and it's like, oh, you're starting this side quest. And it's like, no, I'm not. But it thinks I'm starting it just because I walk near somebody. But it's fine. It's fine. Let's continue. Right here we are. The fortress of Meripede. Down we go. Everything is down. Don't you think that people would have some kind of like a pressure sickness situation when going down this far below? I just I don't know. It's fine. It's this is this is it's fantasy, right? It's fantasy. None no, of this makes sense. Alright, so we're doing a an undercover investigation. This is, this is gonna be fun. Huh. So I guess this so. is what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. It's pretty fancy. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. Oh, right, she's with us. Convicts in such a good mood. What what can I say? It's fun. Uh, which which way do I? This way. See, I love the vibe. Such a cool freaking vibe. It looks so awesome. What apparently once once you hit sub sub zero, um, not sub zero. Once you hit, once you get below ground in Fontaine, everything looks really freaking sick, and I like that. The guards, just kind of vibing. Not even worried that I'm just like wandering around. This game has been freezing randomly, and it's annoying. But I hope I hope it doesn't affect the viewing at least. 
Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I was like, there's a second cutscene? No. It's just everything. Um. It's you, Madeline. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. I get a twitch whenever they, they say Nervalet. It just Aren't happens. You the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. Hello. Well, have you tried service with a smile? Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? And even if I did smile I... at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. That is true. Oh, she's got a point. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here, and Marette will guide you through the remaining procedures. <sighs> yep, I'll take it from here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. These people don't even know how cool okay, it looks down here. They don't even know. They don't even get it. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? Present. That would be us! Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You two are charged with eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence, 45 days? Huh? The, the cake? Uh, wait! Oh my god. The cake? That gave the cake. <laughs> Just looking at the charges. It seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. I didn't make the and connection. Considering how fond oh Lady Ferdinand is of sweets, this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. <laughs> <sighs> Let them eat cake, I guess. You flatter us. You really have an eye for criminals. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish processing you before you can enter the Fortress of Meripede. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take your mug shots with my camera. Oh, all right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. Oh my god. Do we get to see the mug shots? We do. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, can I can I strike a pose? Nope, I can't strike a pose. I thought they'd let me do like like strike some kind of this is hilarious. Criminal. Stop right there, criminal scum! <laughs> Under Mayrette's guidance, you complete all required word. The last word. I do not know what the last word said. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. Okay. Huh? <laughs> what? Rebirth? We're only gonna be here for 45 days! You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Oh, okay! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. I'm gonna punch you in the neck, dude. I'm gonna punch you right in the throat. How dare you? Anyway, 45 days. I wonder if they're gonna, like, extend it. They're gonna, like, make the sentence go higher. Depending on, like, how you conduct yourself, maybe. I don't know. The Aquabus subway. They don't even know how, how cool this looks. So, they have no idea. are you one of the guards here? Um, is there anything we should be careful of while we're here? She wasn't supposed to. Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? I will punch you in the neck. I will jab you in the throat. She don't seem like a guard. Why were you sent to bring us in? <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand you fish. 
I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Credit coupons. Credit coupons. He must be a prisoner. All right. Seeing He's a prisoner a escorting kind, prisoners. Dragged in here crying and blubbering. I guess I can tell you a few things. But next time, it'll cost you some coupons. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Coupons can get you almost anything in the fortress of Meripede. Desires fulfilled. You want power? No problem. Can I get some ham? Coupons can ham? even change fate itself. So, credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupons. Everyone Ooh, starts from the same kind of? place, and you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. Do they really, though? This is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world, even after they've served their sentence. Oh, mm -hmm. so that's what the Fortress of Meripede is like. Huh. Paimo was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here, but it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. Why? After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive, you know? Oh, I mean, it's, it's I'm pretty, an pretty. Like you two. I knew it. Welcoming newcomers is a job I picked up to earn some extra coupons. Have you ever seen the Duke? Have you seen a harbinger from Sneznaya? Uh... This one. Uh, oh, okay then. Why aren't you answering us again? I've told you enough for free. Any more info is gonna cost you. Um. So all you care about is Mora. Wait, no. Coupons. coupons. Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. <laughs> Okay, well. Can I? I can't swim in this. But it's Fontaine, so you don't. In Fontaine, there's no. There is no uh, drowning. Like, you can't drown. It's impossible. So, I like that at least, but I can't. I can't submerge in this. In this water, I don't know why. I guess it's just too shallow. Alright, let's keep going. Okay. Look at these robots. Are they, like, active? Can't see if they're, like, moving or not. I don't know. I can't tell. It's dripping. It's a bit moist in here. Okay. Up the stairs, and we got another elevator. How far down do we go? Our ears should be like... Popping so hard right now. So, we're going even deeper now? Just Apparently. It's like a metaphor for your previous life, isn't it? Uh, our lives weren't that bad. I mean, when we like ordered a lot of food, we would we would go pretty deep into the uh, the 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 food consumption, and it would be an actual problem. That that's pretty much the 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 gist of of that. But I don't think we've gone deep into being criminals. Look, sometimes the cake is just too delicious. All right, I'm just, I'm just saying. Look, it's freaking. It looks so cool in there. So this is the actual entrance to the fortress of Meribed, huh? 
It looks like there are other new arrivals, too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. Uh, t hurry up and think about something sad. Probably the only one who doesn't fit in. Honestly. <laughs> true. Oh, right. Very true. We're in someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. If we're discovered, even Nevelet might not be able to rescue us. If we ever get found out, then maybe we'd become criminals for real. That's true. Hey, Which very well could happen. Don't listen. Uh, he's look, talk, he's... I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but you wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Uh, someone important? Hmm, uh... Hyman doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so you just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so good luck. What exactly did he mean by angered somebody? What was that all about? What does that mean? Uh, wait a second. I don't usually oh, see no. any garter backs around here. Does this You're mean that? Uh, prisoners number nope. seven four five nine and We're seven good. five six zero. Welcome. It's I don't him. need to be anxious. These garter backs aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Neuvelet, I had the guard mechs come and wait in formation. Wait, you know about our connection with Neuvelet? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here, even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. Cause, cause we ate a cake. So you must be the, the Duke. Uh, greetings, Your Grace. L lovely weather today, isn't it? Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. Ha! Uh, how great it would have been if only the fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Ah! Uh. My profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you, I just... So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? No. It was okay. His attitude could use some work, though. He's taking great care of us. Splendid chap, really. All right. Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting. Hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. If you need anything in the future, anything, please come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. That's probably a lie. I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. Yes, your grace. I'll take my leave now. It's definitely a lie, right? It's got to be a lie. I don't, Please, I don't, I don't trust follow him. me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. Hyman can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. Let's just roll with it for now, but I hope he doesn't know too much already. No wonder Charlotte's so yeah. interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. Alright, let's keep up with him. Alright. May we continue the case. Oh. We got a scenic spot. We got a scenic spot. The Copper Keep. Okay. Awesome. The Copper Keep. The Keeper Cup. Okay, look, that's great and all, but... 
I love their vibe so much. Okay. Um, are there any, like, treasure chests, perhaps? Secrets? Can I have some secrets, please? Just, just a little, just a little secret. What is this? Oh. Uh, what? A device that resembles a research terminal. You can access the transfer terminals of viewfinder to collect and transfer energy from different storage devices. If there is another transfer terminal within your viewfinder. You can switch to that other transfer terminal's view by aiming your crosshairs at said terminal and pressing it. All collected energy will be transferred to said new terminal. Other than transferring energy, a transfer terminal can also convert cipher letters within its view into text. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue what the hell that means, but you know what? I'm sure I'll figure it out later. We are likely going to have to go down that way and then they're going to show us that later but so wait no this is up isn't it yeah this is up it's an up elevator um i'm sure it'll make sense later but for now let's do this hold on a minute what's always at your service pretty f what hello another beautiful day isn't it uh yes quite lovely indeed um sure if only every day could be as wonderful as today is he this must be like a long a guy who's been here for a while hello who is this what is going on oh I thought this was a person Oh my god. This is another thing. Storage devices can provide energy to transfer and research terminals. Pick up a portable storage device and put it next to a terminal that has stopped functioning to return it to normal operation. Okay, so this... I pick this up. Uh, and bring it to the other thing, I guess? Is that what they're saying? It must be what they're saying, right? Hello, hello. Rag and bone shop owner. Rag and bone shop. You need it. We got it. I want to buy something. Have we got enough coupons? I'm just browsing. Feel free to look at anything, but some stuff has been reserved already, so don't go breaking anything. Can I, um... Alright. Maybe he's not like a shop shop. I thought it was like a shop shop kind of shop 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 kind of shop, you know? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I can't pick this up. So I don't know if. I don't know what they mean by pick up and take to a different station. I have no idea what they mean by that. Oh, here we go. Wait. Pink. Turned up some kind of speaker on. The heck? I don't even know what that means. Okay. There's too much. There's too much going on down here. I don't know what the hell's happening. Question. I I could just I could just leave if I wanted to. I could just I could just leave. look. Just imagine we're stuck here. Just imagine we're stuck. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it what does that mean? for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. What if we're too difficult to handle? <laughs> well, then maybe you'll be able to carve out a name I'm and so sorry. for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? But... Before you go in swinging, please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. What if I... Now, we've arrived at a very important place. Called them... The Coupon Cafeteria. You can but, come here and claim but one welfare meal But, but, but Mongols. Day. What if I welfare said that? Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. 
Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. Hmm. But that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing, you have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. Coupons. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Now everyone gets a square meal every day, even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. It's not circle. Nobody starves to death here. It's not circle. In the fortress of Merit, <laughs> credit coupons are <laughs> yeah, okay. currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. And that would only make things more difficult for me. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the fortress of Meripede. Your Grace's reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Right! Primus sees your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all! It's like a little city. Oh, wait, no. We shouldn't drop our guard so quickly. But it seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm... <laughs> We should still try to verify the truth. You know, you're talking eyes. pretty loud, Paimon. Uh, let's continue this way. I guess we're continuing this way. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then stay tuned for more. What other mysteries will we uncover in Genshin Impact? Until next time, and as always. Just call Master Corvidian. Have a good one, guys.